fancy crown today because we're talking about the queen. Hi, my name is Chelsea Day Day. <laughs> and um, I'm here because I love a good story. <laughs> and today you guys have a really good story. <laughs> For and the winner is... <laughs> and I found this crown and I decided that I wanted to be queen. Story today is the story of Queen Esther. The story of Esther is in the book of the Bible named... Oh. Esther, imagine that. I just think it'd be pretty fun to be queen. You could just go around all the time, telling people what to do. I want to show you something, because Esther is kind of tricky to find in the Bible. Well, here's my Bible. The story of Esther happened before Jesus came to earth. So it is in the Old Testament. That's the front part of your Bible. If you cut, if you slice your Bible right down the middle and open it up, you'll probably be in the book of Psalm. If you go a little bit over this way, you'll see the book of Job, and right before Job is the book of Esther. Um, I think we have a problem. Help! My name's Chelsea Day Day. I'm glad to be here with you today, Day. <laughs> well, Queen Esther was queen of a place called Persia. I like to think of a cat purring. <laughs> she was chosen queen because she was beautiful. I don't really know much about what in the world a queen does. So, I brought my friend Kyle here. Kyle? He's a kangaroo. Um, Kyle's here because queens are pretty misunderstood, and uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of it or not, but uh, kangaroos are pretty misunderstood. Is that right, Kyle? Well, you see, a lot of people think kangaroos just jump around all the time, like we're like Tigger some crazy little Energizer Bunny, and that's just not true. Some people think kangaroos are scary, like we're gonna box your face off or something, and uh, that's not true either. And uh, uh, that's a lot like being a queen, because uh, 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 kangaroos don't, they don't box queens, and uh, uh, queens don't box kangaroos, and uh, ca queens have pouches. Um, actually, I don't think they do have pouches. Uh, um, what was the question again? <coughs> Hello, my name is Ezra, and I am the expert on most things. <clears throat> And back in the days of the Bible, the queen didn't rule the land per se. <clears throat> the queen the queen was chosen by the king and the king ruled the land. And that's that's the truth. So you're gonna need to know some characters. There's the king, and then there's the queen Esther, and then there's a guy named Mordecai. Mordecai was Esther's cousin. Oh, I've heard of Mordecai before, that's right. Mordecai, uh, yeah, because sometimes I'm hungry and I want more to eat, and sometimes I'm not tired and I want to have more playtime and more Mordecai. I don't really know what Mordecai is, but I guess it's really good because people want more of it. Mordecai, haha. <laughs> okay, I don't really know. Esther was very interesting because Esther was a Jew, and Jews were the chosen people of God. And the king didn't know she was a Jew. You know, sometimes when there's people that are special, they kind of get some enemies. And the Jews were that way too. Mordecai heard that an evil man who worked for the king had made a plan to kill all the Jews. Yeah. Kill all the Jews. Yeah. Kill all the Jews. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty scary that someone would want to get rid of all the Jews. I don't know what I'd do if someone wanted to get rid of all the kangaroos. Oh man, that'd be real scary. Who would be in this world to put things in their pouches? Oh man, I don't want to think about that. And so Mordecai went to Esther and said, Esther, you need, you need to help our people. So Mordecai was all like, you need to go to the king. And Esther was like, if I go to the king, then he's going to kill me. To see the king was a spy. Special, special, uh, special privilege. It was a special privilege. Like, you walked in and the king could bow his scepter to you, and if he bowed his scepter to you, then you were okay. Wait, what's a scepter? Scepter is a long, fancy king's day. Maybe it looks something like this. Well, so Esther said, okay. 
okay, well, you go tell all the Jews to go and pray. And so after three days praying, Esther was so brave. She said, I don't care if it's against the law or what the king will do. I'm going to go and talk to him. And she said, if I die, I die. So Queen Esther went out and she put on her royal robes and she went to see the king knowing that she could die and and the king saw her and oh this is for me i gotta take this sorry in the story of esther we see the king having a lot of authority over his kingdom and even over his queen it was kind of hard to imagine having one man that has so much authority that whatever he says goes. If you think about it, the authority of even one king is nothing like the authority that God has over this world. My name is Ezra, and I am the expert on most things. And um, God, in the Bible, is called the king of kings. He has more power and more authority than all the kings of the world combined, like casseroles. Our memory verse for today is Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Hello, my sisters and my brothers, too. I have some memory work for you. It's from Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Listen, it's true. And we know that in all things God works for the good. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Word. So when we listen to the authority that God has in our lives, we know that he will work everything out for his good. Yo, Miss Melinda, the Chelsea lady never finished the story. What happens to Esther? Does she die or what? Hmm? Oh yeah, I guess you would want to know how the story ends. Well, when Esther goes to the king, he's glad to see her. And in fact, eventually, Esther tells the king the truth that she is a Jew and that the evil man with the evil plan is trying to kill all of her people. And she doesn't like that. So the king protected Esther and all the Jews and actually, the man with the evil plan ends up getting put to death. But Esther and the Jews are protected. All because Esther respected the authority that God had in her life. Stand to praise the Lord. We stand to praise the Lord. We stand to praise the Lord. Because Esther obeyed God, she was able to save her people. And she's quite the hero. I mean, we're still talking about her today, thousands of years later. Yeah, we're buds. He even lets me up, put things in his pouch sometimes. It's really handy. You never know when you want to hold a thing or two. Ooh, that's kind of scary looking. God of heaven.